Okay, the next thing I want to do is show you how to make sure you've pre-cached all the online maps you have onto your phone or tablet so that when you're out riding in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a data signal, you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have to depend on getting your maps over the internet, they're already stored on your phone. So any of the online maps, the overlays or underlays, for example, Microsoft Hybrid is an online tile map. That is an online map, and it has to go to the internet to get it. But you can pre-cache all that, and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is go to your settings, no, go to your configure map, and under map source, that's normally set up when you're riding to offline vector maps. But you can set this to online maps also, including Microsoft Hybrid. So I'm going to change it to Microsoft Hybrid. Then we go back to the map, and we don't really see the trails anymore because basically that has shut off the offline vector maps. So now we're looking up in the Pittsburgh area, New Hampshire, Dixfield Peak about three quarters of the way down. When I am at the zoom level, obviously I have images of that. But if I zoom in closer, you may get a white screen for a period. Well, I have a very fast internet, so it's downloading new new maps all the way. Whenever you do that, it's storing them on your phone. So when you browse around an area, those will be on your phone, but you may not have them all. There's a way that you can make sure that you have them all to a very high zoom level. Now that you have the map source set up to Microsoft Hybrid, click someplace on the map. First, scroll to an area of the maps you're interested in. Like if I wanted to ride up in Pittsburgh area, I have the Pittsburgh area all displayed. I'll click on that map, put a pin in the center, and then the three bars on the right-hand side of the pin, we'll click on that. And now that it's that Microsoft Hybrid is in the map source setting, there's a download map item listed in the More Actions menu. And I'll click on that. Now it says select the maximum zoom to preload. Preload meaning it's going to store these tiles onto your phone or tablet so that when you're out there riding you have no you doesn't have to use the internet anymore to get them it also identifies if the lower right hand side it says 24.54 megabytes that's how much storage it's going to use and it's at a certain zoom level so if i increase the zoom level it's going to take more files and it goes up exponentially so if i want to add a zoom to level 16 there's 30,000 tiles, 30,000 little pictures, and it's 300 megabytes. Now, I like to have this, a lot of this, so, and um, Microsoft Hybrid goes down to level 19. And if I click download, it's going to start downloading. You get a little indication bar of how it's downloading. Best to do is just set the phone aside and go drink a beer or something or go to work because it's going to take a while. But you want to do this before you go out on your ride if you want to make sure all those maps are there, all those tiles for um, Microsoft Hybrid, if that's one you want to use. You don't have to have that many. You could do it on a very low level. Just browsing around gets it on a, you know, a large area. There's not that many tiles. The more detail you want the more it's going to take occupy in space. And you can end up saving space off your phone by going into the folders using ES File Explorer. Underneath the, t underneath the tiles subfolder, and in that subfolder there's another one called Microsoft Hybrid. In that there'll be uh, a number from 5 to 19. 19, there'll be tens of thousands of files in there. You can delete level 19, that's the very high at zoom levels save a bunch of storage. So you could go up and you could download an area you're going to ride in, like I'm going to go up and ride in northern Maine, download very high level of detail, and then the next week, where well, you're not going to be in Maine, you're going to be in New Hampshire, you can delete those ones out of Maine at a high level and um, download them in New Hampshire at a higher level.
So that's that's a way you could kind of manipulate and manage the stories you have on your phone. Now I'm going to stop this just by hitting the back button, not letting it complete. But again, just scrolling around, anytime you do this like this, you can see it. Now it's on your phone. So if even if you don't have the internet. But if I went over to like California now, scrolled over there, it may take a while to download that, or I may not have that in there. If I was out on the trails and I wanted to look at California, I hadn't downloaded it, it wouldn't be there. Once you've done that, you want to remember to go back into your configure map, scroll down to map source. See, now it's set up to Microsoft Hybrid, and you want to change it back to offline vector maps. And then you go back to the map, and again, you can see the vector trails. But now you have a few more files downloaded up in the, in the area of northern New Hampshire. That should do it.